Hey, in this video I'll explain how to set up the now playing section of Tboard. But before we get into the whole setup, let me quickly show you an overview of how it really works. So Tboard makes use of a feature by Lost.fm called Scrubbling. And Scrubbling is nothing more than gathering music information from different uh, music services and media players. And as you can see on the left hand side, I've divided those in three categories. And those are online music services and desktop media players that already support scrubbing. For instance, GrooveSark and Deezer, they allow you to scrubble from within their settings page. You simply uh, set up your Lost.fm account there and you're good to go. And for Spotify, you simply need to enable the Lost.fm app. Next, there's uh, online services and desktop media players that do not support scrubbling, but uh, can scrubble to Lost.fm via a plugin. So in order to scrubble from Pandora, YouTube or SoundCloud, uh, you will need a browser plugin. The links for that will be either in the video description or in case you're watching this from within Tboard. Uh, the links uh, will be in the uh, help documentation. And certain media players, such as Fubar2000, uh, they have a uh, plugin that will scrabble to Lost.fm as well. And at the bottom here, you have the desktop media players that don't support scrabbling out of the box and require a tool called Scrubbler, which is available as a download from the Lost.fm website. I haven't used the uh, Scrubbler tool from Lost.fm in a while, but from what I've heard, they changed uh, how or rather when the music information is sent from your media player to Lost.fm. So once you have everything set up to scrubble the music information to Lost.fm, Lost.fm then provides a service that Tboard uses to load that music information. And Tboard then writes that information to a text file that you can then load either in OBS or XSplit. So now that you know how everything works, let's go ahead and look at a few setups. First things first, you'll need a Lost.fm account. If you don't have one yet, all you have to do is go to the uh, Lost.fm website and sign up there. If you're going to use one of the media players that requires these Crubbler tool, you can download it here at the bottom of the page. Once again, I don't recommend it because of the huge delay that is built into their tool, which uh, only sends the music information like in the middle of the song or even at the end of a song, which isn't very useful for streaming. But in case you want to give it a try, click on the link. Uh, over here you can download, where is it? Over here download Scrubbler and it should work with uh, iTunes, Winamp, Windows Media Player and even Fubar 2000 but I prefer because of the delay that the uh, Lost.fm Scrubbler has I prefer to use a different plugin. So let's have a look at the uh, Chrome plugin first. Uh, the link should be in the uh, description of the video or in the Tboard help file but you can also just search here for Scrubbler and then this is the one I'm using there's one for Google Play as well I haven't tried this one so I have no idea how if it works and how it works and there is a specific one for SoundCloud as well but this one is like a multi-purpose one and that's the one I have installed once you have it installed there will be a Over here, permission, I think options. You go to options, okay. Click on options, and then here you need to authenticate with Lost.fm. So basically, they will ask you for your Lost.fm uh, account credentials. And then, as you can see, there's a whole list of sites that it supports or music services that it supports. And you simply enable the ones that you use and uh, probably enable or disable the ones that you won't be using. Also, there's a few um, sites supported here that now do have scrubbling built in, such as Deezer and I think a few others like GrooveSark. So if you're using uh, 
Deezer and Groovestark, it's best to disable the plugin for those sites and enable it on the websites themselves. Moving on to Spotify. In Spotify on the left hand side, select App Finder from the menu. And it usually is listed somewhere around here. Yeah, it's here, Last FM. So it's usually uh, among the top apps. But if you can't find it, you can probably do a, a search uh, somewhere. Uh, but anyway, look for the app, then click on it. And well, I think you can add it to your favorites and stuff like that. Uh, but once you are here, you need to again authenticate. Uh, so use your Last FM credentials to authenticate um, with Last FM. And from then on, you will also have an option here. Scrabble to Last FM. And uh, you know your username and password should be there, and it should over here say successful. Um, from then on, music that you play in Spotify will be scrubbed to Last FM. Next up, and the one that I personally use is Foobar 2000, and there's a plugin for that called Foo underscore Audio Scrubbler. Simply download it, then go into the foobar installation folder, components, and this is where you put the audio scrubbler DLL file. When you then start foobar, go into file, preferences, under tools you should have an entry that says audio scrubbler, fill in your Last.fm account credentials here. I don't think I changed anything else, so all you need to do is have your uh, Last.fm account filled in here, then click on OK. And that's all there is to it. From now on, uh, mu your music information will be sent to Last.fm. Once you have your music service or media player configured for Last.fm, open up Tboard, go to Now Playing. You'll be presented with some information here, close this, then fill in your Last.fm username and click on submit. Then it will notify you that Trawler is currently disabled. You can enable, disable it at the bottom, blah, blah, blah. Just click on yes. And as you can see, it is now enabled and it loads the uh, latest tracks that are played or that are available via Lost FM. So let's now see if it actually works and let's play something. As you can see, it has now refreshed and it says uh, Joachim Schoenecker Trio. So, and that's exactly what is playing currently. You can't hear the music. I've disabled it for uh, YouTube, otherwise they'll hunt me down. One thing to note is that if you created a new account with Last.fm, it may take up to like 15-20 minutes before your music information gets through to T-Board. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm guessing that Last.fm puts some kind of restriction on uh, newly created accounts. So if you created a new Last.fm account and have configured everything correctly, and music information doesn't come through directly or immediately, uh, just uh, give it time and it should uh, work. So now it is time to bring that music information into OBS or XSplit. Uh, easiest way to find out where the text is written to is to click on the folder icon like I just did. That will open the folder and there's a now playing.txt file there. So note that the text file is within your user documents and not within the um, T-board installation directory. So that's important to note that you're picking the right file. Okay, let's go ahead and add text. Okay. Now playing. Click on OK. Select Use Text from File, browse to it. Tboard, Twobler, now playing, open. Now make some adjustments. Let me 
see what font am I looking for. I think that one. Let's go with that. Make it scroll. Think four fifty. Let's try that. Okay, we have our text over there. Edit scene. Now move it into place. Like this. Then drop it behind the overlay. Where's my overlay? Oh, okay, there it is. And if I now switch to full screen. There we have it. Okay, one thing I didn't show yet is that you can customize the formatting a bit. So you can select the uh, wrap the character in the front and at the back. You can select the divider between artist name, track title, and album title. The spacing, the order, if you like the artist first, then the track to the album, or if you prefer the track first, artist first, and then the album. And you can exclude the album altogether. So now it's only the artist name and the track title. And of course, when you hit apply, it's gonna apply those changes. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this video on how to use the now playing in keyboard. Thanks for watching and until next time.